Pike. It's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the Spring Festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. When did I become such a fucking monster? Whoa. What was that? I can still feel some of Charlotte's anger from before? Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just going Happy Spring Festival, Gabe. Yeah. This one ornament will really bring my tree together. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? Ah, string lights. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Will you be my date to the festival, Shu Shu? The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Okay, time to head downstairs. I should really head down to the park. Alexandra the Bard will ride again.
Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Hey guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment, something really messed me up. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte, it's the same old story. I lose control and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. It's totally fine. But I still owe you a new trophy. Let's play for it. Not to spoil the moment, but Typhon blew up their own mine. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? I've never
never seen anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. I've got some time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. This is impossible, right? Eight hundred's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes, your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. Excuse me. It happened last year, yep. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. Excuse me. So then, where's the after party this year? After party? Come on. Eleanor must Young be man like yourself. that the festival you must know is finally what the here. Is. <laughs> Honestly, I'm get. My bad. So then, there's no the after party way this to year. sample everything on this table. After party? Is there? Come the world's on. most unnecessary Young man vodka like yourself. delivery you system. You must know what the haps is. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. You can have calling it a night soon. My goodness. What is this town coming to? used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in someone else's bed. Must have been pretty wild back in your day. My day? I'm talking about God. last year. I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh no. What happened to Riley? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight if it wasn't for, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too. Sure, I'll try my best.
The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? I better get going. Enjoy your night. You too. I love the radio station broadcast live from the park. Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Sets out to find her missing sister, who was abducted years ago by a guild of warlocks. Go on. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries, the kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal, undead priest. Oh. They find the sister. The sister is now the high warlock of the guild. She's threatening the entire kingdom with her magical shit. And they gotta take her out. Right? I, I don't know. But what a dilemma. Fucking Shakespeare meets Tolkien. This is what I always should have been writing. Jesse, this is amazing. It sounds like your muse is finally back. Didn't need a muse. Just needed to get out of my own head long enough to remember who I am. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can... Good luck with that, sign. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. Typhon is not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Just get out while you can, I dude. Really... I don't know. Ugh, not tonight. Come on, son, get it over with. <coughs> I, I don't want to get sick. You're gonna feel a whole lot better after you do. I'm, I'm gonna die, Dad. Not tonight, you're not, birthday boy. Although I suspect you're gonna wish you had tomorrow morning. Eleanor is like a mafia boss. Except instead of crime, she spreads flowers. Mandatory night off? I'll take it. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Grand opening tomorrow. Free soup. Gotta and pull my shit together for this grand attendees. opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. Just we might. Free food. I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen. Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. 
stupid. So stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think there's food left at the festival? Are you hungry? I thought you might be. I could be. But are you? Not really. But that's nice of you. Right. Cool. God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Sorry, man. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dork. What do I do? Hey, um... I just wanted to say you two make a really cute couple. Uh, oh! <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Us being a couple? Yeah. I... kind of like it. Holy shit. Uh, okay. So, does this mean, do, do you want to, um... Go out sometime? Yes. But just the two of us? Yes. An actual date. <laughs> Devoid of pottery or third wheels. Okay. Okay, great. Haven't spoken to Charlotte since leaving here earlier. I hope she's okay. Wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Nana, no, hey, don't put that sticker up. And why not? Aren't I allowed to be proud of... Anna, I'm not going, remember? I'm staying here, with you. Right. Yes, of course. I... Riley. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. We'll scrape it off tomorrow. Hey, Riley. Oh. Hey. What are you doing here? Just wanted to say hi. I couldn't find you at the party. Yeah. <sighs> Partying's not really in the cards. I was supposed to leave on the bus tonight. So many hopes and dreams, all poured into one fucking bus ride. But it's okay. Nana needs me now. She was there for me before, and now it's my turn. And I don't have to do it solo. I have Mac helping me. That's something. Eleanor is so lucky to have you. Thanks, Alex. Hang in there, okay?
I will. You're awesome for coming out here. I hope she can bounce back soon. Couldn't have said it better myself. What are you so happy about? Been a while since I've seen you smile like that. It's that cake. That dragon-shaped ice cream cake. I feel like something clicked as soon as we thought of it. As soon as you thought of it. I can't stop thinking about it. Could we do a castle-shaped cake box? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What if we did little swords instead of serving knives? Oh my god. We could do a LARP. Like ourselves. As a promotion. Ooh, what if we called our loyalty program Experience Points? Okay, stick with me for a minute. Full. Fantasy. Rebrand. Forget the avalanche thing. Dragons hoard ice cream. I fucking love you. Right fucking back at you. We are ice cream geniuses. We run this shit. Keep flexing, ice cream lady. The rose can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? Hey, Steph. This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Wish I could have seen drugstore makeup play. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out.
Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. This is gonna be awesome, trust me. Um, we've never played together before, and, uh, anyway, sorry if this sucks. Fuck it. Hey, Charlotte. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now... It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better? Charlotte, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop.
Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Berlin. Fuck yeah. Bowie recorded Heroes in Berlin, and that record slaps. Where am I gonna live there? Some big loft with concrete floors and exposed brick walls. I'll brood on the fire escape, writing lyrics in my leather-bound journal, and drinking absinthe straight from the bottle. Ugh. Someday, they turn the place into a museum. Steph Gingrich recorded blah 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 here. And it slaps. <laughs> That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To Berlin? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot. Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later.
Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex, don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. The order came down today from who? High up. Bosses, bosses, boss. 
It's not my job to know. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? A deal, just like they offered Charlotte. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well. Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. 
Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed, not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex, be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. I think I'm all played out for tonight. Yep, the tables seem to have turned, all right. Looks like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Steph in any deeper.
Time for a change of clothes. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. 